นมัตถุรัตนตยศาบายไพ่ไมโคมสุตตริปัญเจมตบูดาดาดามันสังคฟรนซินดัมมักอันเดียดิบูติสก็ขอเจริญเจริญสุขสวัสดีนะญาติโยมสาธุชนทั้งหลายที่กำลังรับชมรับฟังการถ่ายทอดสุดอยู่ในขณะนี้ I just would like to say welcome everyone to the, the online A special discussion, and this afternoon here in the UK, maybe the night time in Thailand, and we are very fortunate to have the um, guest speaker, and who are very important person as they play a major major role in Buddhism here in the UK. Um, I will be speaking both Thai and English, however, and we have. And Mrs. g a m o n t i p who will be helping me as the interpreter. And my name is Pramaha p a s a k o n b i o p a s o Originally, I'm from Thailand, but I have been living in the UK since 2006. a t m a p a p r a m a h a p a s a k o n b i o p a s o ก็เป็นพระไทยที่มาอยู่ประจำที่วัดพุทธปฐีตอนนี้ได้มาทำหน้าที่ในฐานะเป็นพระธรรมทูตที่วัดพุทธปฐีอย่างไรก็ตามนะวันนี้ได้มีโอกาสที่จะสนทนาธรรมเป็นกรณีพิเศษเนื่องจากว่าได้มีประเด็นเกิดขึ้นวัตถุประสงค์ของการจัดเสวนาพิเศษในครั้งนี้ก็เพื่อที่จะให้ทั้งหลายได้ทราบความจริงแล้วก็เป็นการให้ทั้งหลายได้ทราบว่าพุทธศาสนาในอังกฤษนั้นเป็นอย่างไรโดยผู้ที่จะมาร่วมรายการในวันนี้ก็มีหลายท่านด้วยกันก็หลักๆก,ก็มีท่านอาจารย์นมโรท่านหลวงพ่อศิลปินมละแล้วก็ดรเดสมอนบิดดอฟซึ่งเป็นประธานพุทธสมาคมตอนนี้เข้าใจว่าดรเดสมอนกำลังจะเข้ามา so as I said before that um, today we are very fortunate to have a chance to listen To the um, speaker who play very important roles in Buddhism, especially here in the UK. Um, many Thai people are familiar with Ajahn Amaro, and because he received an ordination from a f o r e s t tradition, Ajahn c h a l i n e s most venerable s i l a v i m a l a and he's a Sri Lankan monk, and he's the chief s a n k a n a y o g a Of Sri Lankan Buddhist monk in Great Britain, and then Dr. Desmond b i t o f and he is the president of the Buddhist Society. Um, I think now Dr. Desmond is with us. Can you hear me? So there must be something wrong with the um, audio system, right? Me, right. Well, let's begin. I would like to tell you briefly about the Buddha Patipa Temple. Um, here is the the arrow photo, and as you can see, that this is the main temple or u p o s t a Hall. The Buddha Patipa Temple was established. In 1966, not in present location, but in i c h i n Until 1976, it moved in Wimbledon. ย่อยๆสั้นๆคือวัดพุทธบัทีบถือว่าเป็นวัดไทยแห่งแรกในประเทศตะวันตกเพราะว่าตั้งแต่ปี2509ได้มีการเริ่มสร้างวัดพุทธบัทีบที่เขตริชมอนทางอิชินแล้วก็ย้ายมาอยู่ในที่ประจำตรงนี้เมื่อปี2519อันนี้ก็คือสภาพอุโบสถในปัจจุบัน so as you see now this is the main temple at the Buddha p a t i p a I think now is Ajahn Amaro turn okay please wait for a while I need to 
uh, and mute Ajahn Amaro. Okay, Ajahn Amaro, could you please say something about yourself and also your organization like Amaravati Temple, for example, and how you uh, came across to Buddhism? Just in brief. Good afternoon uh, to everybody who's joined this, um, uh, this event. Um, my name is Bhikkhu Amaro. I became a, uh, a monk uh, with uh, Lumpur Cha as my uh, preceptor, my Upachaya in 25-22, so uh, 41 uh, uh, reigns as a monk I have uh, now. Uh, I was born in England, and uh, I'd say, in, in, but I encountered Buddhism in Thailand. Uh, I came back to England uh, shortly after my first reigns and was being uh, with, uh, under the guidance of Venerable Ajahn Sumeto for many years. He established uh, uh, Amaravati Monastery in 1984, uh, so that's 35, 36 years ago. And uh, uh, when uh, um, he wanted to retire from the role of abbot, then he invited me to come back from a branch monastery where I was in the United States to take over the role of abbot here. So I came back in uh, 2010, so uh, almost exactly 10 years ago uh, since I returned to, uh, to England. Uh, Amravati Monastery is both a uh, residence for uh, monastics and lay people, but, and also it runs uh, retreats. So we have about uh, 45 uh, monks, nuns, novices living here, and about uh, 15 lay people at the moment. Okay, thank you. Now I think it's Pandesi Lavimara turn. Hold on, hold on, I need to unmute you first. Yeah, Pante Gaspar, could you please unmute yourself? Can you hear me? Right, um, I don't know what happens. Yeah, I apologize for the technical issue. Yeah, Pante Gasapa, could you please turn on your audio? And now it is Pante Silavimala turn to tell us about the London Buddhist Vihara. Is there something wrong? Um, perhaps we skip and then we come back later. Dr. Desmond, are you there now? Yeah, there must be something wrong. Right, I don't know what happened. Right, I think I better skip. Well, we see here, this is the London Buddhist Vihara. Um, it is regarded as the oldest Theravada Buddhist center in the UK. And because it was founded in 1926 by Anakarika Dhammapala, and many Buddhists know Anaka 
Anna Karika Dhammapala very well and to play a very important role in restoring Buddhism back to India. Um, at the moment, the head monk is most venerable Bogoda Sila Vimala. So this is Anna Karika Dhammapala. And as I remember, there are four president monks and the head monk is Venerable Sila Vimala and who's third from the left. And I thought this picture is from one of them, Parita chanting. I'm not sure if Dr. Desmond can speak now. Dr. Dr. Desmond. Yes, hello. Yeah, right. Okay, now it's your turn. So it seems Pante Silavimala has some problem with his device. So I think it's better if you can tell us a little bit about the Buddhist society. Yes, um, the Buddhist society has its roots in the, th in the Theosophical Society, Theosophical Movement. And it was founded by, by a man called Christmas Humphreys, who was probably one of the great figures in the transmission of Buddhism to the West. He was uh, on, the, on the Western Front during the First World War. And he was a, quite a devout Christian. He wasn't there, his brother was, his elder brother, who he absolutely worshipped. His elder brother, really towards the end of the war, was killed by a stray bullet or something happened just out of the blue. And he lost his faith completely in, in Christianity and then was depressed and was sent home from school, from boarding school. And then he picked up a book on Buddhism started to read it and became more and more absorbed in it and because of reincarnation and various other things he thought to himself well this is buddhism i'm a buddhist and that really began a lifelong interest in in buddhism which um which really grew and grew and grew throughout his life particularly his young life he, he so he joined the theosophical society when he was at, at cambridge uh, he studied law at cambridge began the Theosophical Society and then, and then started the, 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 um, the Buddhist Lodge of the Theosophical Society. And that's how the Buddhist Society started. It was really founded in 1924. And um, there was a kind of an interesting meeting between Dharmapala and... Um, Sorry, who and Dharmapala? Anagrika Dharmapala. Anagrika Dharmapala. And Christmas Humphreys and all the Buddhists who were who were interested in Buddhism here in, in England. And there was an offer to start, you know, to, that he could join up with Dhammapala. And he said, no, no, I'll start the Buddhist Society because if the Buddhist Society will represent all the different schools of Buddhism. And if I, if I start with Dhammapala, then we'll have to go along the Sri Lankan way, which although he was a great admirer of, in fact, he was a Theravada Buddhist at that time, he yeah. thought, no, I want to leave it open. Dhammapala then started his mission in England. It was 1920, it was in 1926 that the Chiswick Vihara opened its doors. And um, it's really been here ever since, except for the, this is the this is the Chiswick Vihara, been here ever since, except it was closed during the war. But otherwise it's it's uh, it's grown from strength to strength and it's had some very gifted abbots. Um, and the, the and our current uh, abbot it, it, Sila Wimala is a, is, a, is a wonderful exponent of the Dharma and uh, he teaches r regularly everywhere. And, and it's sort of, because it's the oldest um, Buddhist Vihara in the United Kingdom, it tends to be sort of have a role, uh, some sort of role of leadership, although it's not based on anything other than being the first to have arrived. So it's... Uh, so it was a little bit like the period, you know, equal, we're all equal, but um, some are more equal than others, but we're all sort of all on the same level. Now the Buddhist society itself went on and it represents um, not just the Theravada tradition, but also the Mahayana Buddhism. And in, in when it represents Mahayana Buddhism and gives classes in Mahayana Buddhism, 
that includes um, free land to, you know, uh, that represents Japanese Buddhism as well as Tibetan Buddhism and also the Zen school of Buddhism and various other Mahayana groupings. And for Theravada Buddhism, we, we, we usually rely on our close friends, you know, the local Sangha from Chizik, from, from, from Yovihara Bhante, and also from Amravati. And Amravati has been, a, has been a tremendous inspiration to Buddhism in the UK. Tremendous, really, the forest tradition. I mean, when it came to, to the UK, it had a really quite profound transforming effect because they spoke in direct language and very straightforward, easily understandable language. And, you know, tend, English Buddhists tend to have been rather philosophical and intellectual. So that was that was an important uh, sort of change. Thank you. Well, now I will ask a common tip to summarize for the Thai audience. So I will stop sharing the screen for a while. Um, maybe Kun Kamuntip can start summarizing what Ajahn Amaro just said about himself, about the Amaravati Temple and also the London Buddhist Vihara. สวัสดีค่ะก็เอ่อธรรมโรก็พูดถึงว่าเป็นลูกศิษย์ของพ่อชายนะคะแล้วก็เอ่อเป็นพระมาประมาณ 41,000 ปีอ่าหลังจากที่บทภาษาแรกก็กลับมาที่อังกฤษแล้วก็ก็กลับไปอีกแล้วก็เอ่อหลังจากที่ท่านสมีโทเนี่ยต้องการที่จะอ่า
your audio is not on yet, so you have to turn on your audio, and then we can hear you. Yeah, I think you can hear us, but we can't hear you. Yeah, you, I know that you're speaking, but we don't hear, we can't hear you. Can you hear? Yeah, yeah. Okay. well, I think I better yes. back, go back to the slide and then you can tell us more about your uh, London Buddhist Vihara. Okay. Is that okay for you? I will show the screen. And yeah, then very, so, I go sorry, back. these technical problems. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, we, I understand that. Oh, hold on. This is uh, of yeah, hold on. Right, I need to show the London Buddhist Vihara. Right, okay, now could you please tell us a little bit about the London Buddhist Vihara, like the history? Yes, uh, this is the main building uh, of the London Buddhist Vihara. Um, London Buddhist Vihara was founded in 1926 by a great Sri Lankan philanthropist, social reformer, Anagarika Dharmapala. Uh, this is the first uh, Buddhist monastery in the UK. Sometimes the, it says uh, this is the first Buddhist monastery outside Asia. Yeah. For, uh, at the beginning, we started in Ealing, then place to place we moved. And for this uh, building, we moved in 1994. So, <clears throat> um, uh, my uh, <clears throat> former head monk was most venerable Dr. Vajrayana. He passed away in 19, in, in 2006. Then I was appointed in 2007 as the, as the head of the London Buddhist Vihara. I was ordained in Sri Lanka uh, in 1973, I was, uh, <clears throat> I was higher ordained. Now I am uh, 46. Uh, um, Vasa is a senior monk. So <clears throat> um, this is the uh, pictures uh, which were taken in festivals at the London Buddhist Vihara. This is the annual chanting ceremony. You can see a lot of people gathered around the chanting pavilion. And before that, you had seen the picture of our founder, Anagarika Dhammapala. So this is a brief, uh, they, they are the resident monks. This is the founder. Um, so now there are uh, four resident monks? Yes, there are four monks are living here. Right. Uh, actually, nowadays, three monks, one monk has gone to Sri Lanka. Yeah. Right. Thank you, Pante. Now I will ask Kun Gamantip to summarize what you have just said in Thai, because we have many Thai audiences all over the world. Action, Yom Gamantip. อ่าท่านศรีละเวมลาก็เป็นสังคนายกของฝ่ายศรีลังกาในในประเทศอังกฤษนะคะอ่าแล้วก็วัดเอ่อวัดที่ท่านประจําอยู่เนี่ยก็
่แล้วก็ท่านบวชที่ศรีลังกาแล้วก็เป็นพระมาสี่สิบกพรรษาแล้วค่ะอ่านมุตนายมกมลทิพย์นะร่อย so now we come to the point that we gonna highlight for today discussion. Um, well, I would like to show you this famous picture, probably among the Thai Buddhists, and there are two monks and one lay person. So the lay person is Dr. Desmond Bindov, and then next to uh, Dr. Desmond is Ajahn Namuru or Parat Putti Warakun, and then uh, Pande Silavimala. And I would like to invite Ajahn Namuru to tell us about this picture. Am I unmuted? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you can speak now. So this was the, the occasion of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth's uh, Diamond Jubilee, uh, 60 years on the throne of uh, Great Britain, and uh, it was held at Lambeth Palace, uh, which is uh, the official residence of the Archbishop of, of Canterbury. So this wasn't at Buckingham Palace, it was at uh, the, uh, the Lambeth Palace, which is uh, on the, the south side of the River Thames. And uh, we were the, uh, invited to come along as representatives of the Buddhist religion. And there were uh, also representatives of uh, Islam, of various um, branches of Christianity, uh, Vida uh, Hinduism, uh, Sikhism, uh, the Jewish community, uh, Baha'i, and many different religions were represented on that occasion. So uh, Venerable um, Sila Vimala had br uh, brought a silver chetia, a small silver stupa, to uh, uh, be a, uh, an object of, um, to say, an example of an object of reverence from the Buddhist tradition. So these were not given to Her Majesty, but they were brought along as uh, objects that represent the Buddhist faith. And each faith brought along a particular object, uh, a book or a ritual, uh, say, symbol that represented their, their faith in, in one way, shape, or form. So this was the occasion. And this was, uh, I believe, uh, 2000 and... Um, 2012. 2012, thank you. <laughs> right, right. Well, let me ask you the question because now, and many people, especially in Thailand, believe that some members of the British royal family are learning Buddhism and meditation. So, as you have the contact with them, um, Monarchy, you have a chance to speak to the Queen and maybe you can share your experience. And Dr. Desmond, maybe you can speak after Ajahn Amaro. Um, uh, I've never been approached by any members of the royal family for guidance about Buddhism. Uh, I've heard rumors uh, that, uh, say, Prince Charles has an interest in, in uh, Buddhism, just as he has an interest in organic farming and has quite a, a, a broad mind. He's very respectful of different religions. Um, uh, but uh, personally, I've never been approached uh, to, to teach Buddhism. I don't know any member of the royal family who's ever visited any of our monasteries uh, in the West or, or indeed in Asia. So uh, I can't speak uh, to whether they have any kind of personal interest. That would be Her Majesty the Queen, Prince, uh, Prince Philip, uh, any of her children or grandchildren. So that uh, uh, that is unknown to me whether they have any interest, but certainly I have no personal experience of them, uh, say, requesting guidance or reading our literature even. Thank you, thank you. And maybe Kun Gomatip, could you please summarize what Ajahn Amaro just said in brief, please, in Thai? Um, the picture that I saw, Mr. Amaro and Mr. Sila Wimala went to the 60th of Queen Elizabeth, and went to the house of Archbishop Canterbury, and went to the house of the Buddhist Church, and went to the house of ศิลปินมาลาเนี่ยก็นำเจดีสีเงินเอาไปด้วยซึ่งเป็นเครื่องหมายหรือตัวแทนของพุทธศาสนานะคะแล้วก็ท่านอามารบอกว่าไม่ทราบว่าสมาชิกราชวงศ์อังกฤษเนี่ยสนใจพุทธศาสนาหรือหรือไม่อย่างไรเพราะว่าไม่ไม่เคยถูกเชิญไป
พูดเรื่องศาสนาพุทธหรือว่าสอนกรรมฐานเลยเพียงแต่ว่าทราบว่าพระชายชาวเสียเป็นผู้ที่มีใจที่เปิดกว้างให้กับทุกศาสนานะคะเดี๋ยวเพิ่มนะคือท่านอาจารย์นมโรท่านบอกว่าท่านไม่ไม่ได้รู้จักสมาชิกราชวงศ์เลยแล้วก็ท่านไม่ได้เคยได้รับการนิมนต์ให้ไปเทศไปสอนเลยแล้วก็สมาชิกราชวงศ์เองก็ไม่เคยไปวัดอัมมารวดีนี่คือคือสิ่งที่ท่านพูดนะโอเคดร์เดสมอนด์วุฒิลัยทูแชร์ซัมติงอับาดิสพิกเจอร์ฟอร์มยูฟอร์มยูพอยต์ออฟวิวเยสอิทธิ์อิทธิ์อิทธิ์อิทธิ์อิทธิ์อ And it was Her Majesty's jubilee, so it's quite an important day. Her Majesty is, as you know, um, under our constitution, she is not only head of state, but she's also head of the Anglican faith. And for that reason, she has to be a little bit, you know, cautious in in what she does and how she appears. But I know that the royal family, by and large, are very interested in Buddhism. Her Majesty. Uh, made a visit with um, Prince Philip in 1954 to Sri Lanka when she was very young, and uh, being a Commonwealth country, it wasn't really long after Sri Lanka had become independent. 1948, I think, became independent from 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 was no longer a colony and was, was suddenly, was suddenly was an independent country. It changed its name from Sri from Ceylon to Sri Lanka and became Buddhist, and so. Um, That meeting, you know, where the old shackles of colonialism had been thrown off, and Sri Lanka emerged as a Buddhist country speaking its own language, independent. And so the meet, so the state visit of the Queen and Prince Philip to Sri Lanka was a very big affair. And I think during that time, she also, she went to Kandy, which is, as you probably know, is the, is the chief shrine in, in Sri Lanka. And um, everybody seems to have had a, a, a wonderful time. And she, at the meeting, she actually said, "You know, I do remember my visit with great warmth and affection. My visit to Sri Lanka in 1954, and how nice it was, and how welcoming everybody was to her." Thank you, Dr. Desmond. คุณกมลทิพย์ขอเชิญสรุปสักเล็กน้อยนะว่าดร์เดสมอนด์พูดอะไรยังไงบ้างเอาพอสมควรก็ก็บอกว่าทางทางสถาบันก็สนใจศาสนาพุทธอยู่นะคะแล้วก็แต่ในฐานะที่ว่าพระราชนีเป็นประมุขของแองกลิคันเชิร์ชนะคะก็ก็แล้วก็ท่านก็ได้ไปที่ศรีลังกาเมื่อตอนที่ศรีลังกาได้เป็นเอกราชนะคะแล้วก็ตอนเหตุการณ์อันนี้ในภาพนี้ที่เกิดขึ้นเนี่ยพระราชนีก็ได้กล่าวถึงเหตุการณ์ที่ได้ไปประเทศศรีลังกาค่ะ Uh, okay, now Pante is 11 m i l l e I'm not sure if your audio is on now. You need yes. To... Okay, right. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Please. Do you want to explain <coughs> this photo? Yeah, yeah. Well, from your from your point, from your point, from your experience. Yes. Yes. So far, as Ajahn Amaro and Dr. Desmond b i d a l f a s have explained, I agree with their. Uh, we use uh, the occasion was very historical occasion to mark the uh, diamond jubilee of Her Majesty the Queen. Uh, we paid represented there. Queen uh, Her Majesty the Queen wanted to talk to um, uh, one in each of them, uh, and we Buddhist uh, with uh, uh, the we of uh, three. Um, Uh, represented there and have shown uh, one of the items they asked uh, to uh, to explain demonstrate the teachings. Then I have selected a to a small stupa. Uh, then later I offered to Her Majesty this stupa as a present because there were sixty gems uh, embedded there. Uh, as a mark of the 60th anniversary of uh, coronation, then uh, I explain the Buddha's um, uh, noble eightfold path, taking the stupa. The base, uh, the the first part is represent the s e a l e r then the chamber represent the, the samadhi, and the, the pinnacle, uh, the. Represent the wisdom of the Buddha's noble eightfold path. 
Sila Samadhi and Panya. She was so delighted. Yeah. And her uh, Archbishop, uh, Dr. Uh, Ruan William was there. Both they were very happy. And uh, uh, she spoke um, nearly 15 minutes about her experience uh, in Sri Lanka and uh, to temple and uh, uh, Sri Lankan uh, Sri Lankan country, uh, very important places where she had been. Uh, so I, it seems to me she was very impressed uh, what we have uh, told to her and we did chanting, but the Amaro and myself did chanting for a little while to uh, give her blessings uh, on that historical moment. Thank you. That is the thing. Maybe you can tell us more about these two pictures as well. I think um, he's the late Dr. Uh, Yana Ratana. I'm, I'm even not wrong. Oh, no, no. Uh, Dr. Vajrayana. Vajrayana, sorry. My, this is, uh, my, uh, he is my former predecessor, um, head monk. And this is uh, the occasion uh, in 2004, exactly the Boxing Day, December 26, there was a tsunami uh, disaster in uh, Southeast Asia. Nearly 14 countries were terribly affected, and uh, more than uh, 200. Uh, uh, 30,000 people died due to tsunami. Then in here in Britain, a lot of British people show when they are compassion, their spirit of generosity. And our temple, Vihara, became a center uh, to support uh, to the victims in Sri Lanka so a lot of medical instruments and uh, medical and uh, medicine, clothes, food, money, etc., were donated to the Vihar. The then um, to Princess, Prince Charles wanted to encourage the people, and he had uh, a relationship with uh, with uh, with uh, our High Commission, and both did together visited the Vihara. Uh, then we welcome him and he had uh, one hour stay with the, in the Vihara, uh, talking with the people, volunteers, and he gave a little talk about uh, the, the, the time to show our compassion and also generosity for the victims in these uh, countries. So the, he had uh, shown a great spirit of compassion and uh, love to the people and express his sympathies to the um, to the um, community here. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Pandek. Ah, Yong Gamon tip, the look, yo yo, I go to. Ah, um, Chalong, Hoksip, Kong, Kan, Kong, Rad, and Hatang, Tan, uh, Sila Mimala, God, Jatriam, JD, Lako JD, never dab doi, uh, Roy, Hoksip. 60 เมตรเพื่อแสดงถึงว่า 60 ของสีลังกานะคะช่วงที่มีเอ่อสึนามิแล้วก็ทางวัดก็เป็นศูนย์กลางที่ช่วยเหลือคนนะคะราชินีก็คือองค์นี้ท่านเป็น
บรรยายให้พระราชินีฟังนิดนึงก็คือเรื่องมรรคมีองค์แปดเรื่องสินสมาธิเรื่องปัญญาจริงๆทางคณะเตรียมเจดีย์เจดีย์เนี่ยเป็นเจดีย์ที่จะนําไปถวายสมเด็จพระราชินีซึ่งเป็นสัญลักษณ์การครองราชหกสิบปีก็ใช้เวลาไม่นานคือก็พูดคุยธรรมะเล็กๆน้อยแล้วก็มีการสวดให้พรนะมีการสวดให้พรสมเด็จพระราชินีด้วยนะอันนี้คือจากที่ท่านเล่าและภาพนี้เกิดขึ้นตอนที่เกิดสนามิช่วงนั้นนี่ก็คือทั้งคนเจลังกาคนทั่วโลกเนี่ยเสียชีวิตกันเยอะทางเจ้าฟ้าชายชาวก็มีสัมพันธภาพที่ดีกับเอกอัครราชทูตของศรีลังกาทีนี้วัดก็ได้เป็นศูนย์ให้กําลังใจเพราะว่าคนอังกฤษก็เสียกันเยอะคนท้องถิ่นคนประเทศอื่นก็เสียกันเยอะเพราะฉะนั้นก็ถือว่ามาเป็นการให้กําลังใจและพูดถึง compassion และว่าความมีเมตตากรุณา Right now we come to Um, I think I just would like to invite any one of you to tell us more about the whole event on that day. I think on the 15th of February, 2012. Maybe a general, you can start. Yes. Uh, so the the um, the figure at the center. This is the uh, former Archbishop of Canterbury, uh, Dr. Uh, Rowan Williams. Uh, he was the host, Lambeth Palace. Uh, was his uh, official residence. He is now retired from the role of um, uh, the uh, Archbishop of Canterbury. Uh, uh, Dr. Justin Welby is now the the current Archbishop. So uh, he was the host. It was the very first event uh, to celebrate the Queen's 60 years on the throne of of the uh, uh, United Kingdom, and. Uh, It was a very auspicious. It was a, a very beautiful gathering. You can see from the different clothing people were were wearing the representatives from the different religions. And apparently, Her Majesty had particularly requested that the to begin her jubilee year by having an event that welcomed all of the religions, because the uh, along with being the head of the Church of England, she's the the head of the church. Uh, it's also her role to be the protector. Uh, of all the other religions uh, that are function within the United Kingdom, so it was a, a very, uh, as was said earlier, very auspicious gathering. And uh, Dr. Rowan Williams, he has had a, also a personal interest in Buddhism. Uh, there was a dialogue that he and I took part in at the Buddhist Society, uh, I think, in 2015. It was hosted by Dr. Desmond Bidolf, and uh, uh, so I feel it was. Uh, Very notable that Her Majesty wanted to celebrate her 60 years on the throne by uh, acknowledging and, and paying respect and gathering together all of the different religious, uh, uh, say, forms of faith as a, a way of, of uh, say, rejoicing in her time on uh, on the throne in, and in the role of monarch. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, you want to come and tip? Yeah, s u p p o r Or maybe t e r e will be s u p p o r Long, long, p a r t n e r เมื่อกี้ท่านอาจารย์นมโรท่านได้ท่านได้บรรยายภาพนี้ก่อนว่าจริงๆท่านนี้ก็คือเป็นอาบิชอปออฟคันเทอร์เบอรี่ก็คือถ้าเทียบกับเหมือนกับสมเด็จพระสังฆราชบ้านเรานะคือท่านเป็นโฮสต์ก็คือเป็นเจ้าภาพจัดงานนี้ขึ้นมาก็คือเนื่องในโอกาสเฉลิมฉลองครองราช60ปีก็คือพัชราพิเศษของสมเด็จพระราชนีอลิซาเบธที่สองคือสมเด็จพระราชนีเองก็อยากจะเริ่มปีครองราช6ครบ60นี้ด้วยเรื่องทางด้านศาสนาเพราะฉะนั้นก็ท่านอาบิชอปออฟคันเทอร์เบอรี่ก็มีสถานะเหมือนกับสมเด็จพระสังฆราชก็คือเป็นสมเด็จพระสังฆราชคล้ายๆทางด้านศาสนาก็จึงได้จัดงานนี้ขึ้นมาและในงานนั้นเนี่ยก็มีอย่างอย่างภาพนี้ภาพนี้ก็คือเป็นภาพที่ท่านหลวงพ่อศิลปินมาละได้อธิบายไปก่อนนันนี้แล้วซึ่งเป็นเจดีนะเป็นเจดีที่ท่านได้อธิบายว่ามีพลอย60เมตรแล้วก็อธิบายเรื่องมรรคมีองค์แปดเรื่องศีลเรื่องสมาธิเรื่องปัญญาอันนี้ก็คือที่หลวงพ่อศิลป์วิมาละได้อธิบายไปก่อนหน้านี้ and perhaps Dr. Desmond could you please tell us about about this picture um this one here yeah um, I'm, I'm do you remember I, this one, no, I don't remember the one on the left particularly. No. Yeah. <laughs> anyone of anyone of you who like? Yeah, said, but the other picture there, the last one that you showed, you I, I noticed some of the um, 
some of the, the heads of the various traditions, you know, in, in England. The head of the Hindu council was in that picture. Next one. Um, yes, and there you can see Al Khoi, who is a, who is the Shia who runs the Al Khoi Center, extreme right at the top of the picture. This one. Extreme, no, no, to the right. That's it. Yes, that's Al Yusuf Al Khoi, and I think that's the 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 Muslim, the head of the Muslim council next to him. Yeah. There. And um, you can see the back of the head of the Copt, Coptic um, arch. He's now the archbishop, actually. Um, and I think there in that picture, you'll probably have found that all the heads of, of the different religions and traditions were present. Uh, it was a very joyous occasion, I have to say. It was extremely friendly and warm. And I think the, it was suggested that, that the name should be changed from Defender of the Faith meaning, yeah. you know, defender of Christianity and Anglicanism, particularly to defender of the faiths, or, you know, protector of the faiths, rather like Dharmapala, but yeah. in English, the English version of that. Thank you. Um, yes. Young woman, tip long so look, Dr. Desmond, they put such like no, I do. I have to take off food. I like to know some jive. So, Pabni, Ben Tirum Kong, took Sasana, and I have been. Punam Kong Sasana, I like, Lala Sasana, my room can lock all. เอ่อควีนเนี่ยน่าจะเป็นน่าจะเอ่อเป็นผู้ที่เรียกว่าปกป้องศาสนาของทุกศาสนานะคะอ่าคือท่านดรเดสมอนด์เนี่ยบอก
So, uh, Venerable um, Mahabatsu Khan, yeah. that previous photograph was of the Hindu uh, delegation. Yeah, you, you mean this one? There's a label in the corner, Hindu guests and their sacred object, a floral representation of the Om. Om. Oh. Is it the, the yeah. symbol of Om? It's a Sanskrit symbol of Om. Okay. อ่าตรงนี้คือที่เห็นดอกไม้เนี่ยนะก็คือเป็นเป็นตัวอักษรสันสกฤตซึ่งเป็นเป็นสัญลักษณ์ของโอมโอมเนี่ยน่าจะเ
the queen and her family come along. They go to a, the, the royal tent, take tea with their own guests for, uh, let's say, maybe 40 or 50 guests for an hour, and then they depart. All of the rest is just the opportunity for the many people around the country to meet each other, to enjoy the environment of the Buckingham Palace garden, and to, uh, uh, say, uh, re rejoice in the, uh, the kind of uh, good work that everybody is doing. So it's a, a lovely opportunity to meet people that uh, would never come to a monastery, but are all doing very good work uh, around the country. So it serves that purpose. And I believe there are four or five of those garden parties every year. Right. Would you like to answer my question in Thai? <laughs> ท่านได้ท่านอาจารย์เคยได้รับนิมนต์ไปสอนในพระราชวังบักกิงแฮมมั้ยครับสั้นๆช็อตโอ้ดังสิโอเคเอ่อไมเคยสอนที่ที่ว
societies and Buddhist organization have been established in the UK. When we see the um, Buddhist directory, which uh, published by the Buddhist society, the number of the uh, organization has been, have been increased. So in that regard, I can say the uh, Buddhist people, uh, Britain, in Britain, there is, uh, is an, uh, a very um, uh, increasement of the uh, Buddhist uh, uh, community. Uh, also, uh, because of the mindfulness practice is now very highly demanded, even all party parliamentary group has recommended to practice mindfulness in four areas, school, in education, schools, and also health service, and uh, also prisons, and also working places, judicial, judiciary services, all these places, um, the mindfulness practice is uh, recommended by the all party parliamentary report. So in that regard, mindfulness practice become more popular Then Buddhism is also uh, connected as um, main practice uh, in Buddhism as mindfulness. So therefore, uh, it seems to me, uh, it seems to me or uh, everywhere we can see interfaith meetings, even in the airports, in the hospitals, uh, and in the universities. So therefore, uh, in every main institution, we can see uh, interfaith uh, meetings. In that regards, Buddhism has become a part of interfaith meetings as well. Mainly the teachings of Buddhism because of Dalai Lama's influence also, we have to appreciate. Uh, Dalai Lama became a major speaker uh, in, in, in university uh, or in, 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 uh, in England. Even uh, I, I remember Dalai Lama addressed the British parliament. Uh, likewise- um, Yeah, Pate, because Ajahn Amaru is living soon. So I want him to respond to the two question. And the last question is, what is the trend of Buddhism in the UK? And maybe Ajahn Amaro, you can leave in five minutes. Could you please respond to the question that I already asked? Are more and more British people becoming interested in Buddhism? And what is the trend of Buddhism in the UK? I would agree with uh, Bhante Sila Vimala uh, 100%. Um, there's a steadily increasing interest in Buddhism, particularly in meditation. Uh, before the, the lockdown in the normal years, the retreats, every single retreat at Amravati, uh, we have 20 retreats here on site. Uh, 55 people can stay here at any one time. Every retreat is booked solid. The weekend retreats have a waiting list of three or 400 people. Um, so that uh, there's a, a very, um, I say, a, a steadily growing interest in, uh, in this country. Um, I think that in the statistics that you have here on the screen, it says 248,000 people uh, registered as, as Buddhists. But I would say there's a, at least an equal number of people who practice Buddhism, but they don't like to have a label. Uh, so they are committed to Buddhist meditation. They study Buddhist teachings but they don't like the label of being anything. And so that uh, I would say there's quite a, a substantial proportion of that uh, people in this country you know, of that nature. So I, uh, in, a, in, in truth, it's hard to keep up with the interest. There's, uh, we're always uh, at a bit of a stretch trying to uh, meet the, the requests and needs to be giving teachings. And so that uh, I feel that uh, there is a, a steadily growing uh, interest and also, as, uh, as Bhante Silavimala was just saying, the, um, the influence on the, the mindfulness movement of Buddhist meditation is very, very strong. And that is something that is, say, uh, very actively developed in those different areas of, of the British society in education, in the criminal justice system, in the, the business world, and in, uh, and in health, in the, the health services. So that uh, it's, a, uh, it's definitely very... Uh, uh, very positive growth in that direction. Thank you. And last but not least, before you go, I just would like you to say a few words to and Christian people all over the world. And during 
this difficult time. Just a few words. Ajahn yes. Amaro? Yes. In, uh, in, uh, in English? <laughs> yeah, both, both. You, you have three minutes. Uh, this opportunity to uh, this, uh, live broadcast on, on Facebook, I'm happy to say, uh, offer my encouragement to everybody, uh, whether you call yourself a Buddhist or you don't, or whatever your particular interest uh, in, uh, in Buddhist practice might be, to, to take the Buddha's teachings and to say, directly apply them to your life. And this is the way that we can benefit ourselves and also benefit the people around us. These are our difficult times. Uh, there's uh, a lot of stress and uh, conflict in the, in the world. And so the degree to which each one of us can commit to cultivating the wholesome qualities uh, of uh, kusalakama and uh, letting go of the unwholesome qualities, the akusalakama, that is our contribution to uh, the, the well-being of the world. เอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อ
ราะฉะนั้นนี่คือเป็นข้อมูลล่าสุดที่เรามีเคยถามฝรั่งหลายๆคนแต่เขาก็บอกว่าเขาไม่ได้เป็นพุทธนะถามว่าเขาไหว้พระไหมเขาก็ไหว้แต่ว่าตัวเขาเนี่ยเขาก็ไม่ได้เขาไม่ได้บอกว่าเขาเป็นพุทธเขาสนใจ Buddhist philosophy เขาสนใจ meditation right okay now Dr. Desmond it's your turn if you still there yes yep. respond to the question are more and more British people becoming interested in Buddhism and what is the trend of Buddhism in the UK yeah please I think it's a definitely very much an upward trend um, between the census in 2001 and 2011 it increased quite considerably quite markedly um, And another 248,000, which are you know, on the census, and I, I assume when we have our next census, it will be even more. But as Amaro said, not many people, not everyone who is a, belongs to a religion will put what religion they are on a census. So I think there's a lot more people who are in fact uh, practicing Buddhism in one way or another than it actually comes out in the census. But there is a great deal of interest in it, and one of the reasons is is because of Mindfulness, which Venerable Sila Wimala mentioned, the mindfulness movement, and the mindfulness movement has its origins in in the Pali Canon. You know, that's how it began. It was it was started in John Hopkins University in America, where somebody called Gabbard Cabot Sim, who was a doctor there, used it to treat to treat people with uh, mild anxiety, and then it's uh, spread throughout all the institutions in. In the health service, and in in the fire service, and the police, everywhere, including the houses, House of Commons, of course, where there's an all parliamentary group on, on mindfulness. But this is just the beginning. So when people start to practice, then they get more interested in Buddhism. So I would very much expect to be there to be an increase in, in in Buddhist adherence over the next 10, 20 years. I see it as an expanding religion. Yeah, from from your opinion. It's rational. It's logical. It 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 leaves pain and and suffering. It's very relevant to human problems. It addresses. I, I ask you a question. From from your opinion, and how, or what is the population of Buddhists in the UK? Because I was asked quite often, especially by Thai Buddhists, because we have been here. The Thai Buddhism has been in the UK. Um, for over half century, can you tell us, from your opinion, what is the population of Buddhists living in the UK, just roughly? I, I think about a quarter of a million. Quarter million. More than a quarter, possibly more than a quarter of a million. Yes. Yeah. And there are 33 million Christians, and a quarter of a million Buddhists. Yeah, maybe you can tell us about this um, information. Okay. Can you see the the screen? Yes. Yeah. So the Buddhists may be in blue. Yes. Yeah. So they would make up probably about 0.5% percent hmm. of the population. Sorry, can you say that again? 0.5. Yes, not 0.5%. percent. Okay. I would say of. In that blue, other uh, you, there is all sorts of strange religions in, in that in that blue section, mm -hmm. including paganism and all sorts of other things, registered religions. Yeah. Thank you. Ah, uh, Yomko Mon Tipchui, salut. Hi. Hello. 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 ความสนใจทางด้านศาสนาพุทธเนี่ยมีเพิ่มขึ้นมากแน่นอนตั้งแต่ปี2001ถึง2011เนี่ยมีเพิ่มมากขึ้นแล้วก็คิดว่าปีหน้าก็จะมีมีเพิ่มมากขึ้นกว่านี้อีกเยอะนะคะแต่ว่าเนื่องจากว่าคนไม่ชอบบอกว่าตัวเองนับถือศาสนาอะไรก็เลยการสำรวจประชากรก็เลยทำได้ยากที่จะบอกได้ว่ามีพุทธมากน้อยแค่ไหนแต่ว่าผู้ที่ทาให้ศาสนาพุทธหรือว่าทาให้การปฏิบัติสติปัฏฐานเนี่ยขึ้นมาดังแล้วก็เป็นที่ต้องการเนี่ยก็เริ่มมาจากจอห์นฮอปคินส์ยูนิเวอร์ซิตี้นะคะในอเมริกาผู้ที่ก่อตั้งก็คือคาบัสซินนะคะต้องทำเรื่องอันนี้ขอเติมนิดนึงว่าเขาจัดตั้ง MBSR Mindfulness Based Stress Meditation Mindfulness Based Stress Reduction นะคะเป็นเอามาช่วยแก้ทางด้านแองซายตี้นะคะคนที่ว่ามีปัญหาทางด้านจิตใจอะไรเงี้ยนะคะแล้วก
อันนี้เอามาใช้ที่นี่นะคะทางด้านเฮลท์เซอร์วิสแล้วก็ทางรัฐสภามีเจ้าหน้าที่อะไรที่ที่ต้องไปฝึกนะคะไปฝึกไปเรียนนะคะแล้วก็เป็นอะไรที่มีประโยชน์มากเลยแล้วก็สําหรับว่ามีคนมากน้อยแค่ไหนในประเทศนี้นะคะก็กะกันดูจากกราฟที่เมื่อกี้นะคะว่าของคริสเตียนเนี่ยก็มีอยู่ประมาณ33ล้านนะคะแล้วก็ของพุทธเนี่ยมารวมอยู่ในสีฟ้านะคะถ้าแยกออกมาแล้วเนี่ยพุทธก็มีน่าจะประมาณจุดห้าเปอร์เซ็นต์ค่ะจุดห้าเปอร์เซ็นต์ก็คือ quarter million quarter million ก็คือ quarter million ก็คือยังไม่ถึงล้านใช่ไหมก็คือใกล้ใกล้ล้านแล้วอ่าโอเคปันเตสิลาเวมบัลล่าอายุสติวได้อโอเคขอดอนขอดอนขอดอนขอดอนยัพันเตสิลาเวมาละ Yes I'm here Yeah okay yeah please So and we're gonna finish now and would you like to add something or would you like to say the 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 message to end c h r i s t i a n people all over the world uh, when we are on lockdown when we in q u a r t e r with this Pandemic, how to apply dharma in our daily life, how to cope our emotion. Yeah, would you like to say that? Oh, yeah, please. Feel yes, uh, yeah. Nowadays, actually, due to this uh, uh, COVID-19 uh, uh, spread it all over the world, people are locked down. Uh, all the people, all are uh, living at home. Uh, so they have an opportunity to uh, um, uh, meet together uh, because as people are working busy, they don't have family members to meet quite often. Now they can meet uh, very often their uh, their family members, siblings, and also their children. So together they can spend the time uh, to practice. Uh, Meditation, sitting together. Um, so uh, and also whatever the religion, uh, they can allocate a time to to con con contemplate their religion, to practice meditation, or read something about religious texts. So this is an opportunity they can uh, sit together and. Do some prayers or chanting or practice meditation, etc. This is a time that help to energize their mind and also uh, they can overcome stress. Uh, being at home all the time, they might be bored, so they can overcome practicing religion, etc. Uh, also, <clears throat> this is the time we have to show our compassion. We shouldn't think about well-being of our own well-being, but we have to think well-being of all the people. Because, because if one becomes sick due to coronavirus, it affects to everyone. Therefore, we have to think well-being of all living beings. This is practice of metta, loving kindness, and practice of compassion. We have to. Show our spirit of compassion to the others, uh, to see the suffering of other people. So therefore, it is good time. It is a new era. End of the coronavirus, COVID nineteen is a new era. We have to think about the environment pollution, and we have to think about the uh, climate change. And also global global warming, all the are important issues, but we haven't thought about that. But due to this Corona COVID 19 we have an opportunity. Something is wrong. Therefore, we all are responsible for our environment because all everything is interrelated and interconnected. In, therefore, the wind or the water or sunlight or the earth and trees, all uh, all they are interrelated. Therefore, we have to think about the environment more than before. And this new era, we have to we have to enhance our humanity uh, because uh, we uh, we during this period we have seen 
the hu great humanity, great qualities of NHS, doctors, everybody had shown, dedicated their time for the well-being of others, uh, in taking a risk of their life. Therefore, we have to appreciate the service of others as well as to show our gratitude to the others who have served the community. And we have to see the great human qualities. Therefore, we have to think not only our well-being, uh, we have to think well-being of others as well. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Pante. I'm um, going to give you a little bit of a ในช่วงที่มีโควิด -19 นะคะก็ครอบครัวเนี่ยก็มีโอกาสที่จะอยู่ยกอยู่ร่วมกันมากยิ่งขึ้นก็เป็นโอกาสที่ดีที่จะได้ปฏิบัติหรือว่านั่งสมาธิร่วมกันปฏิบัติกิจทางศาสนาร่วมกันนะคะไม่ว่าจะศาสนานี้ก็แล้วแต่นะคะแล้วก็ได้สวดมนต์แล้วก็เป็นเวลาที่ที่เราจะได้เห็นความทุกข์นะคะแล้วก็มันช่วงนี้ก็เป็นสักราชใหม่เป็นเป็นยุคใหม่ที่จะต้องคิดถึงเรื่องเกี่ยวกับทางด้านสภาพแวดล้อมด้วยว่าสภาพแวดล้อมเนี่ยเป็นเป็นยังไงเพราะว่าเราจะคิดถึงแค่ตัวเราก็ไม่ได้เราจะต้องทุกอย่างเนี่ยเชื่อมโยงกันแล้วก็ต้องคิดถึงสภาพแวดล้อมให้มากกว่าเดิมแล้วก็ต้อง appreciate คนที่เขาช่วยโดยเฉพาะทางพวกพวกหมอพวกพยาบาลนะคะที่ที่ว่าเขาช่วยเหลือในช่วงนี้ด้วยค่ะก็เพิ่มเติมนิดนึงหลวงพ่อท่านก็บรรยายธรรมว่าคือทุกคนเนี่ยได้รับผลกระทบหมดเลยก็คือมีสองจุดที่เราอยากอยากจะมีก็คือว่าหนึ่งก็คือเมื่อคนเราเนี่ยคนในชุมชนของเราเนี่ยป่วยไข้ได้ป่วยมันกระทบกันไปทั้งหมดเลยก็คือหนึ่งก็คือต้องแสดงเขาเรียกว่า compassion compassion ก็คือต้องมีความเอื้อเฟื้อเกื้อกูลต่อกันสองก็คือต้องมี gratitude gratitude ก็คือความสำนึกความกระตันยูกระตาเวทีอย่างเช่นพวกหมอพยาบาลแรงต่างทำงานหนักเสียสละเวลาช่วยเหลือคนไข้เพราะฉะนั้นเราในฐานะเป็นประชาชนคนธรรมดาทั่วไปเนี่ยควรที่จะมี gratitude ก็คือคือความสำนึกว่าเออถ้าเราทำอะไรได้บ้างก็ควรที่จะทำเพราะว่าพอเกิดโควิด1 9 1 9เนี่ยมันไม่ได้เกิดมันไม่ได้มีผลกระทบแก่คนใดคนหนึ่งแต่มันผลกระทบโดยรวมเลยท่านก็ย้ำเตือนว่าเอออยากจะให้ญาติโยมสาธุชนทั้งหลายเนี่ยใส่ใจในเรื่องการดูแลตนเองในเรื่องการพัฒนาตนเองสวดมนต์ไหว้พระปฏิบัติทำอะไรต่างๆก็ว่าไปที่สำคัญก็คือให้มี compassion คือมีความเอื้อเฟื้อเผื่อแผ่มีความกรุณาแล้วก็มี gratitude okay Dr. Desmond and we are coming to the end now would you like to say something before we finish yes I would and Pante I'd like to thank you for putting this on it really it's brought back very many happy memories And very nice to talk again with with Zamaro and with Sheila Wimala. It's been a great joy to remember those happy days at the at the Diamond Jubilee. But I do think that uh, COVID-19 has been a, a sort of wake up call for many people. You know, death is never far away. We know this from the Dharma, don't we? And that um, life is very precious. And that with a bit of a chance to to practice a little Dharma, you notice that you're The joy in your life increases a little bit. You have a little bit more energy to give to other people, and you know changes start taking place. I think the Buddha Dharma is a great gift to the world. It's only just beginning here in in the United Kingdom, as you can see, from nothing at all to, to a quarter of a million, and that's um, some of those people, of course, are from from Sri Lanka, Burma, Thailand, and so on. But many of them are actually like myself, are British. English who are brought up in this country who have read the Dharma, attracted to the Dharma, practice the Dharma, and love the Dharma, and realize the effect it has on on yourself, and the effect it has on society, and you know may it go from strength to strength, is what we want. And just to thank you again for this afternoon. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Ah, young woman, tip, try to end up now. Maybe I'll end again in a few minutes. Ah, Dr. Desmond said that. ก็ขอบคุณที่ได้รับเชิญมาให้ให้พูดคราวนี้นะคะแล้วก็เป็นการความรู้สึกดีๆที่ก็ได้กลับมานะคะความความเป็นความสุขก็ได้กลับมาที่ได้มาคราวนี้แล้วก็ได้เจอค
ะนะคะที่ท่านได้รู้จักมาก่อนก็ชีวิตเนี่ยมีค่ามากแล้วก็ดรดัสมอนก็บอกว่าให้ปฏิบัติธรรมนะคะให้เน้นเน้นว่าให้ปฏิบัติธรรมแล้วก็อันนี้ก็จะมีผลกับนอกจากมีผลกับตัวเองแล้วก็มีผลกับสังคมด้วยคือดรเดสมอนแต่ยังได้พูดเพิ่มเติมว่าคือตัวเขาเองเป็นฝรั่งเป็นคนอังกฤษเกิดแล้วก็เติบโตที่นี่ได้มีโอกาสอ่านธรรมะแล้วก็ได้ศึกษาธรรมะแล้วก็เห็นคุณค่าของธรรมะเพราะฉะนั้นโอกาสเนี้ยท่านดรเดสมอนบอกว่าเออเราน่าจะใช้ในการเอาธรรมะนะมาใช้อ่าเพราะว่าตัวเขาเองถึงแม้จะเป็นคนต่างชาติไม่ได้เกิดในประเทศที่นับถือพุทธศาสนาไม่ได้นับถือพุทธศาสนาตั้งแต่เกิดแต่ตัวเขาเองก็เห็นความสําคัญเห็นคุณค่าของหลักคําสอนในทางพระพุทธศาสนาคือวันนี้นะท่านก็ดีใจนะที่ได้มีโอกาสพบปะท่านหลวงพ่อศิลปินบรรลท่านอาจารย์นบโรซึ่งปกติถ้าเหตุการณ์ไม่ไม่ได้มีไวรัสนะก็ไปมาหาสู่กันอยู่ประจําเวลามีประชุมนั่นประชุมนี่ก็ทั้งสามท่านนี้ก็จะไปมาหาสู่กันอย่างอาตมาเองก็ไปหาหลวงพ่อศิลปินบรรลบ้างอย่างดรเดสมอนนะก็เคยเจอเวลามีงานอย่างเช่นที่ British Library ก็เคยไปเจอกันบ้างจันอมโรก็จะประชุมกันบ่อยจะเจอกันบ่อยมากเพราะฉะนั้นก็วันนี้ในนามตัวแทนของวัดพุทธประทีปในนามตัวแทนของญาติโยมทั่วโลกก็ต้องขออนุโมทนาท่านอาจารย์อมโรจังหวัดวัดอมรวดีหรือท่านอาจารย์ทคุณพระราชพุทธิวรกุลนั่นคือนามราชทินนามของท่านล่าสุดแล้วก็ขอกราบขอบพระคุณหลวงพ่อโอกอดาศิลปินบรรลซึ่งท่านเป็นสังฆนายกของอพระสงฆ์ศิลังกาในสาราชนาจักรแล้วก็อนุโมทนาดรเดสมอนบิดดับซึ่งเป็นประธานพุทธสมาคมอนุโมทนาโยมกมลทิพย์นะก็ถือเป็นโยมที่ช่วยทางวัดพุทธบัทิพย์และหลายอย่างไม่ใช่วัดพุทธบัทิพย์วัดเดียวก็คือตอนนี้โยมกมลทิพย์เนี่ยสอนภาษาอังกฤษพระอยู่ก็เป็นการพัฒนาภาษาอังกฤษของพระก็ต้องขออนุโมทนาขอบคุณที่วันนี้ได้มาช่วยสคืออันตมาเองก็เดี๋ยวทํานั่นทํานี้ก็เลยหา,หาคนมาช่วยจะได้ทําให้การเสวนาครั้งนี้ได้เรียบร้อยมากยิ่งขึ้นแล้วก็อนุโมทนาญาติโยมทุกๆคนเลยนะที่ดูไม่ว่าที่นี่ก็ดีหรือว่าที่ประเทศไหนก็ตาม So I just would like to say a special thanks to our j a n a m a r o O v e n e r a b l e r a d Putti b a r a k o n his royal title and he's the current abbot of the the Amaravati Buddhist Monastery. And then I would like to express my sincere thanks to Most Venerable Paul Goda s i l a v i m a l a and he's the Chief Sangha n a y i g a of Sri Lankan Buddhist monks in Great Britain. And also, my thanks go to Dr. Desmond b i d d a who is the President of the Buddhist Society. I would like to say thank you, Kun uh, Gamontip Evans, and who helped me with the Thai summary. And last but not least, I would like to say thank you to all. The audiences all over the world. Um, today we have learned about a lot about what happened in that picture. We also have learned how Buddhism is going here in the UK. So at the end of my um, presentation, I just would like to show this. This is the Buddha statue inside the main temple of the Buddha Patipa. ก็ขออนุโมทนาขอบคุณญาติโยมทุกคนนะวันนี้เราได้ศึกษาได้ได้หลายอย่างนะไม่ใช่เรื่องเรื่องภาพอย่างเดียวคือเรื่องเหตุการณ์พุทธศาสนาในประเทศอังกฤษด้วยแล้วก็ได้เรียนรู้และหลายอย่างด้วยอย่างเช่นประวัติบูดิสซายตี้ประวัติวัดพุทธวิหารของลอนดอนประวัติวัดอมรวดีวันนี้ก็ต้องขออนุโมทนา All right everyone um, any any of you would like to say something before we finish It is good to have a uh, good uh, dhamma discussion uh, through the Zoom. Actually, the current uh, advancement of the technology we have to use to spread the dhamma. A lot of people are interested being home uh, uh, because of this uh, coronavirus. Uh, they need something learn, something new thing. So therefore, this is a very good. Uh, Uh, gift to everyone. Uh, those are locked down and living at homes. Uh, very good, um, thought-provoking, and very good um, uh, developing insight within their their knowledge. Thank you. Thank you, Pante. Ah, เดี๋ยวขอสรุปของพ่อศิลปินมาละนิดหนึ่งก็คือท่านบอกว่าเออก
การที่เราได้มีโอกาสใช้โปรแกรมซูมหรือว่าสอนทางสื่อออนไลน์เนี่ยเป็นโอกาสดีเพราะว่าญาติโยมก็จะได้เรียนรู้อะไรต่างๆได้เพิ่มเติมก็คือช่วงเนี้ยเราก็ทําอะไรไม่ได้อย่างน้อยการที่เราได้มีโอกาสเรียนรู้ธรรมะทางออนไลน์จากซูมก็ดีจากสื่อออนไลน์ต่างๆก็ดีก็เป็นโอกาสดีในการที่จะพักฝึกฝนพัฒนาตนเองนะโอเคดรเดสมอนด์วิจิตรทูเซ่ of your words before we finish the meeting yes first of all very big thank you to you to you all thank you very much indeed to get an opportunity to talk about the dharma yes I read something by A Chan Cha who comes from the forest tradition in Thailand the other day and he said that he said the heart is like a caged tiger and of course you know if a caged tiger is fed all the time it will lie there sleeping and happy and plenty to drink and is nice and warm But when things get difficult, then the tiger's claws will come out, and it'll start to become very active. And many people have found this during the the lockdown here in the UK. Therefore, they don't know anything about their own mind, and their own mind, unless you know very familiar with your own mind, and you and you've made it a bit quiet, and you've worked with it, then you you're in trouble. So it's a really good opportunity for people to. To reflect on that and to, to work. Thank you. Thank you. With uh, their minds. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, red, red. Let's just let Kunkuman tip and summarize what you said first. Um, บอกว่าได้ได้อ่านถึงที่อาจารย์หลวงพ่อชาเขียนไว้นะคะว่าใจเนี่ยเปลี่ยนมันกับเสือที่โดนขังอยู่ในกรงพอเวลามีความสุขเนี่ยก็สบายไม่มีอะไรแต่ว่าพอมีเหตุการณ์ที่เป็นอันตรายเกิดขึ้นมาเนี่ยคิ้วเล็บของเสือก็จะออกมาเพราะฉะนั้นช่วงนี้ก็เป็นโอกาสดีที่จะได้ดูแลจิตของตัวเองนะคะก็จิตใจของตัวเองแล้วก็มีอะไรแค่นั้นนะคะอ่าก็โอเคนะก็วันนี้โอเคเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเพิ่มเติมนิดหนึ่งก็คือคือเป็นโอกาสที่จะได้ศึกษาธรรมแบบพูดง่ายๆคือหา,หาเรื่องทำอย่างน้อยคือถ้ามันทําอะไรไม่ได้ไปออกไปข้างนอกมาไม่ได้ก็ก็ใช้โอกาสในในใน,ในครั้งเนี้ยศึกษาธรรมะเพราะว่าก็ไม่รู้ว่ามันจะไปนานขนาดไหน Right I also would like to say thank you very much to Venerable Sila Mimala Dr Desmond Bidov and also Kun g o m o n t i p and thank you all the audience all over the world And at the end of my presentation, I would like to make a wish: may happiness, may well-being, may success, may prosperity, may good health be be with all of you. Thank you. a k o n m o t a n a Okay, wait, wait. I I let me speak in Thai first. วันนี้ก็ต้องขออนุโมทนาและหลายท่านเลยนะไล่ตั้งแต่ท่านอาจารย์นมโรหลวงพ่อศิลมิมาละท่านดรเดสมอนบิดดับแล้วก็ยมกมลทิพย์ที่มาช่วยสรุปเป็นภาษาไทยให้ท่านที่ไม่เข้าใจภาษาอังกฤษอาตมาก็เป็นตัวแทนของพระสงฆ์รูปหนึ่งในประเทศอังกฤษก็อยากจะนําเสนอสิ่งที่ดีนะก็คือสิ่งที่เกิดขึ้นที่นี่และหลายท่านก็อยากอยากรู้ว่าที่ประเทศอังกฤษพุทธศาสนาเป็นยังไงนะคือวันนี้เรามีคนอังกฤษมาพูดให้ฟังเองนะมีหลวงพ่อศิลังกาซึ่งถือว่าเป็นวัดเทรวาดเป็นวัดพุทธแห่งแรกในประเทศอังกฤษด้วยซ้ำไปนะวันนี้ที่หลายท่านได้มารับชมการเสวนาออนไลน์ในครั้งนี้สุดท้ายนี้ก็ขอมืออวยพรให้ญาติโยมทุกๆท,ท่านนะมีความสุขกายสบายใจในที่ทุกสถานในการทุกเมื่อคิดหวังสิ่งหนึ่งประการในในทางที่ชอบประกอบด้วยธรรมก็ขอให้สำเร็จสมดังปรารถนาด้วยกันทุกท่านทุกคนเถิด May you all be blessed by the t r i p l e gem with long life, good health, success and prosperity. Thank you for watching.